Okay, today we are doing... Uh, what are we doing, Sunny? Can you tell us what we're doing? Test tube division. This is test tube division? Okay. So how... Um, this looks fun. I mean, me, I would just want to play with all these little pieces and stuff. <laughs> but what? how do you actually use this? Um, I'm going to do the one right here at the bottom. Okay, let me see that a little closer. So you're going to do 5,008 divided by 4? Yes. And you can do that with those beads? Uh-huh. Okay. Can you explain, though, first the parts of this? Um, okay. Pro like, do you need all these pieces for this project? Um, well, for this problem, it's a four-digit number, so you only need these tubes mm -hmm. and these cups, but if it was in the millions, ten thousands, or hundred thousands, you'd need those. Okay. Can you explain to me what the pieces mean first, so I understand what you're doing more? Um, one of these beads is one unit, so eight of them would be the this place value oh, for okay. the eight. And it's the same with all the other ones, but this is the tens, hundreds, and thousands. And I'm assuming that in each of the test tubes there's ten beads, is that how it works? Yeah, but there are quite a few missing in a lot of them. So you just pretend that there's ten beads in there if there's some missing? or I just use a different tube. Oh, okay. So, um, so that's how the tubes work. So then what do you have here? The first block there is ten tubes uh, of ten each. Hundred so beads. A hundred beads. So it goes in hundreds there? Yeah, there are a hundred of each. Okay. Well, two hundred. And then why do you have this board and those little cups there? Um, well, this cup is for the thousands. The number is 5,008. Okay. So there are five in the thousands place, uh -huh. zero in the hundreds, zero in the tens, and eight in the units. Now, why um, are there green, red, and blue? Does that matter what order they go in? Um, yeah. The green with the gray outside is the thousands, and the red with the white outside is the hundreds, the blue with the white outside is the tens, and the green with the white outside is the units. The blue with the gray outside is the ten thousands, the red with the gray outside is the hundred thousands, green with the black outside is the millions. Oh, and I see that also corresponds to the color of the block and the beads. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Alright, so, and then just one last question. What is this board? Um, well, why don't you show me the problem and we'll see, um, we'll see what it okay. looks like. In test tube, you start with the thousands. It's a little odd. But, you would take all the beads out of it, and since we're dividing by four, we put the beads in a row until it reaches the four. And if we had um, a little more, we could make a second row, but we only have five. So um, I used 4,000. Each of these beads is 1,000. Okay. And I used four of them, so it's 4,000. And I had one bead extra. But since I only have one row, I... I um, put a one up here. Okay. For that. And then I subtract 4,000 from the number. And that's 1,008. And then I put the beads back here on the tube. And so I have one left over because I had five and it, um, this was four. So I put this bead back too. But since there were zero in here, well, it doesn't really matter how many are in there, but I'd take ten and put them in there. Okay. And then, because I had one left, and ten of these is one thousand. And then I'd do the same thing I did with the... Oh, and so why did you put ten in there? Because you had one bead left from the other? Yeah. And one of those beads equals... Ten of these. Oh, okay. Like. One of these is ten of these, one of these is ten of these, one of these is ten of these, one of these is ten of these. Okay, that makes sense. And I could only make two rows because I had um, ten, and I have two left over. But since I could make two rows, I put a two here instead. And each of these are a hundred, and I used eight of them. So I should subtract eight hundred from this and that's 208 and then I put all the beads back
And this time I had two left over. So I take 20 for the tens and put it in there. And now you could also just say one bead equals one two, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. That works too. And then I set them out in the row. And we had 20, so we can make um, five rows. And we don't have any left over this time. Yeah. OK. And so let me guess. If we made five rows, then do we put a five up there on top after the two? Yes. Because OK. I think I'm catching on. And then we don't have any left over. And there are already some in here, but um, each of these is 10, so you, each row is 40, so 40 times 5 is 200. Uh -huh. And then you subtract 200 from this number, which is 8, and then you put the, all these beads back. So how do you get that number that you subtract it from again? You take the last row? Or you, you multiply what's on the board, is that what you do? Um, so the 4 times 5 was, 40 times 5 was 200? And that's how much you subtract from it. Oh, okay. However so, many beads are on here, you subtract it from the number that you oh, have Oh, okay. The so then you, start, you have to multiply what's on the board and um, put it there. Sometimes. Unless there's like one row, you can just see it really quickly and know what it is. Okay. And I forgot to put these down, but... Whenever I'm finished with the cup, I put it face down. And then we had eight here. And we can use eight for this twice for two rows. So we put a two over here. We subtract how much we used, which is eight units, and that's just eight. But if that was eight hundredths, it'd be eight hundred. Eight minus eight is zero. And then you have your answer. And what is our answer then here? It's 1,252. And if you want to make sure you got it right, you take 4 times 1,252. And if it equals the 5,008, then you got it right. If it equals something else, then you got it incorrect, and you redo it. That is really amazing. So one thing I just want to make sure, though, oh, when you have the beads on the board and you're multiplying them to make sure that to put them back here, you need to multiply them according to what group they're in, right? So you multiply them in the ones group or the tens group or the hundreds group. Um. Yeah. So if so you had eight on the board last time, but they were in the and ones. So you just would multiply by one. But if you had your tens out and there were eight on the board, that would be different then, right? Yeah. Okay. That was a little confusing for me at first. So like, I had two rows. So I do two times four, which is eight. And that was eight beads up here. But if that was from the tens... Then it'd be two times four, which is um, eight, and that'd be eight. Okay. Well, thank you for showing us that, Sunny. Is there anything else that you think people should know about this work? Um, and this marker right here, um, I did a few more problems up here. Uh -huh. If there's the number 5 there, you put the marker on the 5. If there's a 3, you put it on the 3, and whatever. Oh, and so when the you put the beads on, you would put them in rows of 3 instead of 4 like we did. Okay, so the marker is how much you're dividing it by, Yes. and you have to make sure that when you're putting the beads you stop at the marker. That's sort of a point yeah. that where it tells you to stop.